The Akash is an Indian-made medium-range surface-to-air missile system developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization. In this video, we'll explore the full development history of Akash, its technical details including the Rajendra radar and missile capabilities, the Indian units that operate it, potential export customers, and what makes the system unique as an indigenous air defense option. Development History Origins and Early Development the origins of Akash date back to the late 1980s when assessments of probable threats and the state of India's air defense network highlighted vulnerabilities against aerial attacks. This prompted India's military leaders to push for development of new surface-to-air missile systems that could provide air defense coverage out to 30 kilometers ranges. To meet this need, in 1990 the government sanctioned the Akash program under the country's Integrated Guided Missile Development Program. The state-owned Defense Research and Development Organization was designated to spearhead Akash's development. Efforts throughout the early 1990s focused heavily on creating the Rajendra Phased Array Radar System and Ramjet-propelled missiles tailored for air defense roles. Delays in new prioritization. However, consistent funding shortages plagued the ambitious missile development efforts over this period. Frequent specification changes requested by the Indian Army also posed challenges. These factors resulted in major delays to the program over its first decade. By 1997, DRDO promised initial trials would take place within three years. But technological hurdles with the Rajendra radar systems and ramjet missiles pushed trials further back. It wasn't until the turn of the century that the Akash program received fresh impetus and funding support. Modernization initiatives for India's outdated air defense architecture gave new importance to fast-tracking Akash. Its domestic development offered cost advantages and strategic autonomy versus importing Western analogs. But despite the newfound backing, it wasn't until 2006 that the first successful live test intercept of an aerial target took place. Final testing and induction. This milestone helped validate the design and set the stage for further tests to prove Akash's effectiveness. Follow-on test firings in 2007 and 2008 demonstrated Akash's automated operations, ability to be integrated into air defense networks, and capability to function while on the move across various terrain conditions. One test saw Akash intercept targets in electronic countermeasure conditions. Through these trial evaluations, engineers progressively improved and hardened Akash's performance. By 2009, confidence in the system enabled initial pre-induction trials with Indian Army units. After further refinements between 2010 and 2012, the platform demonstrated its readiness. Final clearance came in 2014. The next year, the Indian Air Force formally inducted Akash, followed by the Indian Army in 2019. Collaboration with private defense firms like Tata Advanced Systems and Bharat Electronics played a major role in bringing Akash to full operational status through development and production work. Technical Details Composition and Components Akash batteries comprise several key components, the Rajendra radar, automated command centers housing data processing and communications gear, and mobile missile launchers. The Rajendra radar serves as the early warning and target acquisition element, providing surveillance coverage against aerial threats out to 60 kilometers at altitudes ranging from Nap of Earth to high altitude around 20 kilometers. Rajendra is accompanied by battery-level command posts that analyze air pictures and coordinate responses. Data links between the command post and launchers enable decentralized firing while on the move. Three Akash missile canisters are mated to each mobile launcher atop a computerized stabilizer platform for accurate firing. The hydraulic actuators provide movement in azimuth and elevation. High-performance missiles. The Akash missiles represent high-technology products of India's indigenous defense ecosystem. Tip-mounted radomes house active radar seekers for homing. An 18 kg pre-fragmented high-explosive warhead is fitted with both contact and proximity fuses. The missiles are sealed canister launched, meaning the entire munition is fired out of the tube before the integral ramjet motor ignites. This enables shoot and scoot tactics. The use of sustained burn ramjets gives Akash missiles hypersonic speeds exceeding Mach 2.5 while maneuvering. 
Climb rates are a swift 50 meters per second. In-flight agility up to 12G allows retargeting against nimble threats or attacking from alternate azimuths. Maximum engagement range is specified out to 25 kilometers, however analyses indicate capabilities may extend further in practice. Mobility and redeployment. Road mobility is a notable feature across Akash system components. The Regendra radar vehicle can swiftly stow its antenna boom and travel self-sufficiently across rough terrain. Each missile launcher similarly has cross-country mobility to keep pace with mobile forces. They can launch missiles in series before rapidly driving away under cover. Alternately, fired missiles can be quickly reloaded from field storage to renew readiness. This enables batteries to avoid retaliatory targeting, hide, shoot, and scoot, leveraging mobility tactically against enemy air power. Redeployment to new concealed firing locations adds resilience. All components can also utilize air transport as needed to deploy across India's vast expanses. Operators and service. The Indian Air Force was the first entity to get Akash, with several squadrons now guarding bases, infrastructure, and strategic assets using the potent system. Concurrently, the Indian Army inducted Akash version for providing mobile air defense umbrella to ground forces formations. Air Force and Army units are comprehensively trained to exploit Akash's capabilities, whether in static site defense or on the move roles escorting advancing tank columns. Live fire drills hone operator skills. Within each armed service, the missile batteries integrate into tiered defense networks alongside short range systems like IGLA shoulder fired missiles. Akash has also been offered to export customers in order to generate foreign sales and valuable user feedback. Several nations, including Vietnam, have shown interest in acquiring the system. Global interest is driven by Akash's balance of advanced capabilities and cost effectiveness compared to competing Russian, Israeli, and Western options that often prove prohibitively costly. Akash for export and future upgrades. Akash represents one of India's most competitive defense export offerings in the field of precision guided weaponry. Its effectiveness against a variety of aerial threats makes the system a prospective core component in layered air defense schemes demanded of modern militaries. Export sales would deliver valuable user feedback while accelerating product refinement. Over time, progressively upgraded Akash variants could receive new engines, seekers, and network-centric warfare enhancements to maintain its qualitative edge and export appeal. These spiraling improvements will incorporate leading-edge technologies emerging from India's defense innovation ecosystem. What makes Akash unique? Strategic and economic sovereignty. Akash signifies more than just a missile system to India. Its development epitomizes the possibilities of strategic self-reliance based on indigenous technology nurturing, free from reliance upon foreign supplies. Thousands of scientists over three decades converged broad expertise to transform operational requirements into reality using Indian brainpower. The economic impacts also factor in strongly. The expenses of large defense purchases overseas has pushed India to channel investments into homegrown alternatives. Though long gestating, these realizes spin-off benefits via skills development, manufacturing jobs, and ancillary industrial growth. Integrated System Capabilities Akash represents a balanced area air defense system, filling a capability gap between shoulder-fired man pads limited to 6 to 8 kilometers ranges and larger Patriot-type systems costing hundreds of millions per battery. Rajendra's multi-target tracking and guidance support integrated fire control. This brings Akash closer to the realm of capability represented by evolved medium-range systems but at significantly lower cost. Its combat effectiveness has been proven conclusively in testing scenarios reflecting realistic threats. Together, the networked system components provide robust, sustainable, and layered aerial defenses attuned closely to Indian geospatial realities and threat perceptions from either adversary aircraft or missile projectiles. Phased Array Radar Advantage the Regendra radar technology gives Akash greatly expanded monitoring scope and reaction capabilities above legacy air defense radars operated by many nations despite their older vintage. Regendra's electronically steered beams afford precision tracking of dozens of maneuvering targets while simultaneously guiding multiple missiles using monopulse channels. 
rotating mechanical antenna systems cannot replicate this concurrency. Yet DRDO engineers mastered the complexity of designing and producing active phased array radar technology with this level of sophistication entirely within India. The achievement places India in an exclusive group of radar innovators. Rajendra will spawn scaled-up derivatives to extend India's seeker horizon and direct other advanced missile programs. Maneuverability against agile threats. The Akash missiles push the boundaries of maneuverability using robust airframes allowing radical trajectories. Their ability to sustain 12G turns while continuously propelled by ramjets makes the missiles exceptionally nimble. Combining this agility with the launch platform's 360-degree firing flexibility poses severe challenges for adversaries. The supersonic missiles can swiftly change vectors to tackle approaching targets, adjusting range as needed. And Rajendra continually updates missile mid-course guidance during flight. Together, these make Akash lethally effective even against saturation attacks or fast, low-flying cruise type threats rather than solely slower non-maneuvering projectiles. Appropriate Technology Paradigm Lastly, Akash reaffirms the appropriateness and capabilities of indigenous Indian technology when strategists have clarity of purpose and allow programs sufficient gestation. Despite starting from scratch, Indian scientists successfully conceived and fielded cutting-edge missiles with performance matching international frontiers. Long development cycles enabled accumulating critical engineering skills. Now, as the nation moves forward with fifth-generation manned and unmanned aircraft, ballistic missile defenses, laser weapons and other frontier projects, the learning curve advantages shall compound further. Akash and other IGMPD systems inaugurated the self-belief needed to achieve grand strategic visions. In summary, the Akash surface-to-air missile system provides India with advanced, mobile air defenses able to counter a variety of threats. After protracted development, it is now a mature platform operated widely to protect both Indian Air Force bases and enable army maneuver formations. That's all for today's video, hope you got some value. If so, make sure to subscribe to us for more videos and tap the bell icon to get notified with every new video.